We now return to Monkey Island. See ya, partner. It's faded over the years, but it's still... This can't be right. Isn't that a mop tree? I didn't realize you were on a mop quest. Not since my college days. And then I was just experimenting. That's not important right now. Someone messed up, and I think I know who. Body! Poor Wally. Everyone who gets involved with Guybrush ends up regretting it at some point. Slimy worms that wryly squirm, ideas fill my head. The poems flow as roses grow, creatively undead. Permission to come aboard? Go it. I thought we'd lost you. Ah, it'll take more than a bath to get rid of old Gullet. Worth a try on several levels, though. Your voice sounds funny. Uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> still a uh, few quarts of seawater in the lungs, I guess. I guess. Anyway, welcome back to the ship. Do me a favor and guard this spot until the Chuck and Iron Rose get back. I've almost finished the piece I was working on, and I want to get back to it. It's me, Gullet. Why would you trust me with that? Because you know if you screw it up, I'll stab you again. Alright, what do you want from me now? Return the Chuck's secrets. We need the theme song, the catchphrase, and the favorite food. Double cross Madison once we have the map and find the secret of Monkey Island. Also, maybe I can book a side trip to Horsey Island. There are no horses on Monkey Island. Hey, Bob. Hey, Gullet. You smell cleaner than usual. Thanks. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? I'm uh, trying to be more like him. Well, then you should change your catchphrase every few minutes. I have no idea how he keeps track. Do you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? No, but Putra probably does, seeing as how she's the cook and all. Right. Does LeChuck have a theme song? I'm planning a surprise. Surprising LeChuck doesn't sound like a good idea. But he did say something recently about having a theme composed. I don't know if it was ever finished. See ya. Okay, I don't think I need to do that. The cannon got removed. Crabs are still there. I wouldn't want to wake him up. Things get more sophisticated every year. Hey, I can see all the way to the giant monkey head. Madison, Lila, and Trent are all talking. They look happy. Planning what to do when they're finished with me, no doubt. Well, I'll have the last laugh. Ha! Captain LeChuck isn't on board. We get a reprieve from yelling. Okay. Can't have a vote for the same reason, because the uh, first mate is missing at the moment. It's LeChuck's personal diary. I wouldn't have pegged him as the type for self-reflection. Just take that. I'm really enjoying this new diary that Cutthroat Killer got me. I'm impressed that they would bestow this gift on me, given I was the one that cut their throat. I'm going to write in it every day. It's the 5th of June. Time flies when you're having fun, sailing, pillaging, terrorizing, etc. Crazy time tonight. Crew had a what is your most embarrassing guy brush story. Game of charades around the big pot. Just crossed the 14th parallel on our way to terrorize Bermuda. Ran into a pesky customs ship. Easy to outrun and lob voodoo cannonballs at. 
bundled up and went up on the deck to do some more star charts. Got a good look at the grog mug. Arrived at Skull Bay. Dropped anchor. Putra is going to make mac and cheese for dinner. If I didn't know better, I'd say she was underperforming on purpose. Attacked and scuttled a mail ship today. Good fun. The sea was covered with tatters of holiday gift wrapping, and it looked like an exploded clown. Brought back fond memories, but I seem to have forgotten the name of the clown. Note to self, do more memory exercises. Trying out a new catchphrase. Plunder the quiver quivering cutlasses. This is much better than my last one. The new mainsail looks too nice. I'm sending a deckhand up to rip and shred it so it has more of an evil feel. New crew keeps asking why I hate Guybrush Threepwood so much. I can't point to one thing with Guybrush. It's an endless list of little annoying things with him. Guybrush keeps popping into my life when I least expect it. I rue the day when I first went up against him years ago after he ruined the wedding of, to my true love, Elaine. Decided to get myself a new catchphrase for Christmas, plunder my blasphemous timbers. Ho ho ho. I forgot to mention crew threw me a birthday party the day after we got to Skull Bay. I keel hauled them. Keel needed cleaning anyway. Thinking more about why I hate Guybrush. He seems to think we're nemeses, mortal enemies locked in a forever combat. Truth is, I could care less about him. It's like the mosquito thinking we're nemeses when the mosquito is just an annoying insect to be squashed. Iron Rose called my catchphrase tired this morning. Lashed her to the bowsprit, but have decided to give my buy my bristling beard a try. Had a long conversation with the Rose as we roasted s'mores over burning bodies on the beach of Terror Island. I love that place. Her point of view is that the more I dismiss Guybrush as a simple irritant, the more it's obvious that he and I are truly nemeses. Making a list of all the reasons I hate Guybrush Threepwood. Stupid name. Who names their kid Guybrush? Thinks he's a mighty pirate when he's neither. Always try when he's neither what? Neither, neither mighty nor pirate, I guess. Always trying to hunt for the same treasure I am. Stole Elaine from me. He gets much better press than I do. Only interested in the glamour of piracy. I walk the walk. He just talks. My ship is a lot better than his. Oh, Elaine, all these long years I still yearn for the warmth of your embrace. Damn, Guybrush, the day will come and the end of thee is foretold. Idea for a new catchphrase. Shiver the Seven Timbers. Not sure about that one yet. I'll have to sleep on it before I put it into action. Seagulls circling the ship again today. Normally, giant rats with wings would be this, my sort of thing, but they try to steal my morning kippers, and they're whitewashing the deck to the point where none of us can keep our footing, thinking of conjuring a permanent storm to keep the blasted things at bay. The ship is a mess. I'm instituting a new required squabby report. Tested out new punishment techniques this afternoon. Whaling hooks were highly effective. We'll need to replace a few crew members. Only remembered afterward Rose's recommenda recommendation not to use the ship's surgeon as one of the ship test subjects. I'll we'll schedule her for an extra few lashes for letting me forget. I've decided to give up terrorizing the seas. When we get to ports, I'm going to look and do some charity work, dig up my plunder, and pay restitution to my victims. Top of my list is apologizing to Guybrush and giving him a big hug. April 1st. Ah, I cracked myself up. I decided to revise my catchphrase to Threepwood's Bane. Short and, short and sweet. I like it. Problem with my new catchphrase, hearing Threepwood's name too often. I'm going back to the one I had on the 17th. Which would have been Shiver the Seven Timbers. May 4th, map to the secret arrived today. Security measures do not seem to be working, but now that it's here on the ship, can't possibly fall into the wrong hands anyway. I should have had Wally use my personal cipher, but he wanted to bind it tighter to me. We'll have a word with that sniveling little map maker about it once the secret is recovered. Yancey and Mad Flora mentioned Guybrush at dinner. We'll need to hire replacements, maybe at Melee, already stopping there for voodoo supplies. Made port at Melee. Townsfolk surprisingly unfazed by the presence of the ship. Miss the old days. Note to self, destroy a few buildings with cannon fire on next visit. Just came up with a doozy of an insult. I cracked myself up and sent Guybrush to his death. There will be celebration this eve. Note to self, send my condolences to Elaine. Alright. So shiver the seven timbers is the phrase we need to remember. And I will write it down. Shiver seven timbers. Good So, we got that checked. Learn the catchphrase. Now we need favorite food, so we'll head down to the kitchen. Kitchen. And talk 
a flare first, I suppose. How's the score coming along? The music's done. I'm just decorating it now. Go back and guard the ship like I told you. It won't keep anyone out, but it could keep something in. Yeah. Is that, uh, whatever it is, LeChuck's favorite food? No. Not a good dish for people with beards. Go it, you tough old slab of crocodile meat! Somehow I knew you'd make it back. Can I fix you something to eat? Well, I'll have whatever LeChuck's having. LeChuck's on the island, looking for the big secret. What will you cook for LeChuck to celebrate finding the secret? Don't tease me by trying to take an interest. You've never had the slightest appreciation for my talents. You think I just sling hash? I mean... You're the best hash slinger I've ever known. There, you just proved it. Get out of my galley. Okay, I'm going. Gotta try again. You cook for LeChuck. Does he have a favorite dish? You're just teasing me. You've never had the slightest appreciation for my talents. You think I just sling hash? You're the best cook I've ever known. I got promoted, you ignorant lout. Get out of my galley. Okay, I'm going. What was that lovely meal I cleaned up in LeChuck's cabin last night? Stop it. You've never had the slightest appreciation for my... You're the best chef I've ever known. Chef? You called me chef? In all the years you've known me, you've never done that before. I don't know what happened while you were overboard, but I like this change in you. Uh, what was it you wanted to know about? LeChuck's favorite food. Well, that's easy. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Yeah. Don't blame me. It's not my favorite food. Are we almost to the part about the triple cross? Not quite. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Ah, uh, a classic. Can you make me some tentacles with daisy sauce? Sorry, I'm all out of the main ingredient. Do you happen to know LeChuck's theme song? I don't know. Flair's the composer. I think she's on deck duty right now. No. I mean, yes, uh, sure she is. Well, I've got work to do. Right. All right. Gotta get ourselves some tentacles. It's kind of horrifying. I'd rather leave the rest for nature to clean up. Slimy worms that Riley squirm. I don't think there's anything down in the hold either. No. They boarded it shut. And the mop is missing. Could you make tentacles with daisy sauce with this? That's a nice one. Have it for you in a jiff. Petite. That's it? Sometimes simple is best. I'd rather not, honestly. All right. How's the score coming along? The music's done. I'm just decorating it now. 
Go back and guard the ship like I told you. Hey, Bob. Hey, Gullet. I'd still like to hear LeChuck's theme song. Well, like I said, I think he was having one composed, but I don't know anything else about it. Oh, yeah. See ya. Let's get everyone else on board, then. One bell! Voting hour! What's going on? I don't like being interrupted. I don't know. Someone rang the bell. Okay. It's the theme music Flair was working on. A jaunty little tune like this would be great at parties. Do do me so fa fa re. Should have uh, should have hummed it while it was still there and allowed me to do so. Well, I'm not waiting around any longer. I've got work to do. Waste of time. Hope my suit didn't burn. <laughs> Flair is gone. I guess they didn't want any confrontation whatsoever. Okay. I suppose she's hiding up here. All right. Ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? I think I know LeChuck's catchphrase. Well? It occurs to me that if I tell you the secrets before we do whatever ritual thing it is you're planning, I lose all my leverage. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to play LeChuck's theme music. You're the one who knows how it goes, so you're in charge. Your instrument is over there. Watch who you're calling an instrument. Okay. So now we need to find... Each of... Sound like... Is do. 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 Me. Me. So. Qua. Qua. Ray. Do. Ho, 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 ho. That's promising. Next step. Madison, let's have the map. Quis nostra fugiat nulla tempor. Laboris nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say LeChuck's catchphrase. Shiver? The seven? Timbers. Quis atem vel veleptate velit. Now, eat LeChuck's favorite food. Do I have to? Yes. Can't someone else do it? No. Oof. Okay.
Oh. Wow. Look, there are lines on it. It's working. Dark magic stuff gets kind of intense. Anybody see where the map got to? Not your concern. Thanks for your help. Time to go. Wait. Any last words before we drop you off the cliff and retrieve the secret for ourselves? What happened to our deal? Don't pretend you didn't intend to double-cross us and steal the map the first chance you got. You don't know that for sure. It's in your to-do list. Well... Oh. Should have done the three-headed monkey. Once again, you only get one choice from a list of and options And now there. good riddance to Murray, the annoying demonic skull. Wait, I have a family. Good. Trent, let's have a look at the map again. Odd. It was just in my pocket. Never mind. I remember what was on it. Let's go get the secret. It came from over here somewhere. What the? Reapwood? So, you survived walking the plank only to stumble off a cliff. I always knew you were a buffoon, but this really takes the prize. Speaking of taking the prize, as you lie here, slowly dying, feel free to torment yourself with the knowledge that I will shortly have the secret. And then, the fairy lane as well. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that, but no matter. Your last words will be forgotten, along with you. Soon, not even the stench of your passing will remain, as the world moves impeccably onward. Captain LeChuck, it's Captain Madison, sir. She and the others have just set sail. They're leaving the island. Leaving? They must know where the secret is. If we hurry, we can catch them at sea and persuade them to share. <laughs> I think my pancreas is broken. Possibly also my spleen and my gallbladder. Whatever that is. Hello? Is someone here? Guybrush! Oh no! Are you okay? I think my pancreas is broken. Do you even know where your pancreas is? Judging by the pain, I'd say everywhere. What are you doing here? Did you come to rescue me? How did you even get to Monkey Island? I guess you made the potion? You used a potion to get here? That's so cute. But let's not get sidetracked. You've fallen off a cliff. Uh, this whole voyage has been a disaster. Nothing but humiliation, physical danger, and humiliating physical danger. I keep losing sword fights. I got thrown off a ship and thrown off a cliff on the same day. I got caught in a snare trap meant for LeChuck. My own fault. I had a map. There was an X and a shovel. You didn't find that suspicious? Might as well just lie here and starve to death. I've got a better idea. Come back with me to Scurvy Island. I'll take a break from the Scurvy Project to nurse you back to health. Yeah, why not? I'll never get the secret now that the map is gone. Good job, what you say, right? Hello? Murray! Is that the map to the secret? That melon head put me in his pocket with it. I grabbed it for leverage. Holy cow! The secret is at the voodoo shop on Melee Island! Change of plan, Elaine. 
We're going back to Melee. We are? Well, what about all the things you just said? I must have hit my head. Where's your ship? It's actually your ship. Your old ship, I mean. The sea monkey is wrecked on a beach just east of here. I know. I saw it. I got dropped off here so I could fix it up as a surprise for your birthday. What a great present. You always amaze me. I had no idea you knew ship repair. I don't know any more than you do, but I brought a manual. Why don't we fix it together? Dibs on the good hammer. Race you to the ship! I feel like we're entering a new phase in our relationship. I am trying to contain my joy. I feel like we're in- Come on, Murray. You got our work cut out for us. I don't relish the idea of being with you, but I guess it beats spending the next hundred years on this stump. Maybe. Wait, not the pocket. Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. Check it out. Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. It's hit? Okay. Slowpoke. You had a head start. Okay, first though. There's something here. For the achievement. That's still the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. No, actually, it's now the third biggest. Well, fourth, if you include the underwater one. I don't remember that. I guess Lila used them all up when she made the disguise. I guess I can check back on the other locations while I'm at it. Well, oh, at least the heart got what was coming to it. It's been a while since I've seen a trivia card. Seems like mo Ooh, what was that? Very dead squid. I'm not even a fan of live squid. It's some driftwood that washed up on the beach. I can relate. Okay, I'm there. Go back to the rubber tree. That is gazeworthy. No reason. Okay. Time you're ready, Guybrush. Should we get started? Ready when you are. Should we get started? Ready when you are. Okay. People repair ships all the time. How hard could it be? Can I put those on there now? No. did what we could with the materials at hand. Oh, I love it. It oozes nostalgia. Among other things, you steer, I'll bail. I'm just gonna leave the book there? Okay, I'm just gonna leave the book there. And the skulls did get put on the, the ship. Nice. So that's one more achievement done. Things get complicated and they ain't joking. The game's been easy up until this point. Huh. I would expect Madison or LeChuck's ship to be here by now. Oh my goodness, look at the damage! 
I've got to go and talk to Carla about organising earthquake relief. You're not coming to the voodoo shop? Well, of course I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I'll want to hear all about it later. Right. Yeah. See you soon. Okay. I'm not leaving again without the secret of Monkey Island. Watch the ship for me. Uh, bite anyone who tries to steal it. You're fine. There aren't any scrap lumber dealers on Melee. Wanted. Any information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons who destroyed the historic mop tree. I'll, uh, keep an eye out for them. Okay. Well, despite the fact that this is Act 4, this is actually, like, halfway through the game, so I'll end this one here. I'll see you next time.